Good evening fans and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic, Brian Callan, Fighter and the Kid podcast, Joe Rogan and Red Bar. Over the past year, the Me Too movement has become a phenomenon. Okay, the Hollywood industry has came down, cracked down on the elite. Since his lockdown, many, many comedians have been persecuted to shut up, to stay quiet and take whatever comes their way. Brian Callan, on the other hand, the Fighter and the Kid podcast, took these news and rumours about Krista Ella. They openly came out, done a video on their podcast speaking about Krista Ella. Uh, Chris D'Elia, I don't know what the fuck you want to call his name, either way he's been called out in the Me Too movement. Okay? Chris has been called out. Brian Callan and Brendan Sharp had to have their say, okay? I don't know if they did this for clicks. Don't know if they wanted to gain traction off this story, but they was one of the first people to speak out about it. Brian Callan came out on his podcast and says, he's a man. Me Too movement is a global phenomenon. You're not getting with until proven it. Okay, that's what Brian Callan and Brendan Sharp came out and says. When there was a lockdown, everyone was shut down. The Fighter and the Kid podcast went on a tour and they chose to carry on touring. I think they did two tours. In the gasps of all this Me Too movement, this hashtag speak out, this COVID-19 lockdown, okay? They was clearly open about it. They didn't believe what was going on around the world and they openly spoke out about it. A lot of their fans rebelled against them through this time. Two weeks later, allegations are made about Brian Callum. Now, Brian Callum's been acting all his life, been doing stand-up, sitcoms, you name it. He's an actor, but he tried to get into the film business, and this was his year. I don't know if certain women, i.e. Amy Schumer, and the Hollywood press targeted him. I don't know, but it doesn't look good, people. Now, a lot of people are saying that the main target was Joe Rogan. They wanted to bring down Joe Rogan. If you bring down Joe Rogan, you've got the bull at the horns, okay? That's what they say. They wasn't able to capture Joe Rogan, so they brought down everybody around him. Chris D'Elia, Joey Diaz. Okay. Brian Callan. Brendan Sharp didn't really get targeted, but he's left to run his podcast on his own. Is this a good thing? I don't know. He's been forced to bring on guests. He's been forced to bring on random people who the audience don't know. We've had to deal with Josh Wolfe. Um, some people are saying that the podcast is on its last legs I wouldn't say the fighter in the kid podcast is on its last legs if Brian Callan can't get on his own show and he's had to create a paywall and do it with Sam Tripoli that's what he's had to do people Okay, I think eventually he will be back on his podcasts um, sponsors are warning him if he goes back on his own podcast then his podcast is going to get down the hill I don't know about that. Um, I think Brendan Sharp's got enough to pull something out of the bag and make that channel carry on. I think give it a year, Brian Callan can go back on his platform because that, that platform is half Brian Callan's as well, you know, people. So I wouldn't um, forget that. That podcast was basically, it was based on Brian Callan. Okay, Joe Rogan had a podcast years ago and Brian Callan had one. Okay, if you've been a fan of Joe Rogan and the fight with a kid and Brian Redburn, you will know how these people roll when it comes to the comedy circuit. Is the comedy good? <sighs> Who knows, people? It's all down to your sense of humour. If you could, if you listen to the Joe Rogan podcast and you actually, you're actually a fan of what they talk about, then I suppose you're a fan, ain't you? You know, um, he's very manly. They do a lot of manly shit. But that's Joe Rogan. Okay, Brian Callan's been 
his stand up's kind of creepy, if that makes sense. He's kind of a perv in his stand up. His persona that he gives off, is he gay? Is he straight? Who knows with Brian Callum, you know? Does, who really knows? All I know is that his persona that he pulls off, what he wants everyone to think that he loves cock, and this and that, all these allegations that are coming out against him, it goes with the persona, if you understand me, but that's just my opinion. I could be wrong, that's just my opinion. Now, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's had so many guests on his platform. So, so many good guests. It's unbelievable to think that it hasn't been mentioned on his show yet. No one's mentioned it. He's moved to Texas. In the midst of all this California getting hit with forest fires, rumours of sexual misconduct about the comics. Not Joe Rogan, but the comics, the LA comedy scene. It's all going wrong, people. It wasn't a coincidence that Joe Rogan moved in the midst of this. Joey Diaz moved in the midst of this. It's all gone wrong for the comedy scene and there must be a reason. If you take two minutes out of your day, go on YouTube, type in Red Bar, okay, Red Bar Brian Callan, Red Bar Joe Rogan. I think it's partly down to the rise of Red Bar. I honestly do. He's got a good podcast. He puts out content and it's basically directed towards the comedy scene. Clearly points out Andrew Santino. His weaknesses. He's been calling this out for years. He's been calling out Brendan Sharp's stand-up special, the comedy spe the comedy special. <sighs> Brian Callan admits questionable details about his fantasies. He he this dude is putting out content content that people wanna watch, okay? That's all he does. He puts it out, talks about Whitney Cummings and Chris Krista Ella. His whole channel is based on bringing down these comics. I think he has had a huge part to play in the downfall of this comedy scene. I honestly do. I think that if he wouldn't have spoke about it and made it public knowledge to everyone what these dudes are doing, I don't even think this would be a thing, you know. I honestly don't. Um, but I must say, he's made everybody think about who you're listening to. He, he's Spotify paid supposedly allegedly paid joe rogan a hundred million pounds american pounds for that podcast for certain rights to the podcast joe rogan's up there with the money 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 people if he can put out a podcast a day that's what he's going to do he's doing it from texas he's in a good place he's in the best place he's ever been you know if you've got that amount of money you can talk about whatever you want to talk about he, he doesn't need an alex jones on to um, get the world turning. He can just bring on whoever he wants to bring on. Okay. I think the Brian Callan situation will blow over eventually. But I think there's more to be. To be learned about this situation. I think there's more information coming out. If you're a fan of Joey Diaz. You'd know how Joey Diaz's podcast is. Set up. It's basically a. A. a a walk into the life of Joey Diaz. If you listen to his podcast daily, you feel like you're his friend. I used to be a fan of Joey Diaz until I actually started listening to what he talks about. And he's actually quite a dirty guy. Um, just crying, 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 crying. Sex, 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 sex. His outlook on women is a little bit out there, to be honest. Um none of my business but if you're going to put that out there on a podcast you're showing the whole world what you're up to and people are going to judge you and I think that that's what's happened with Joey Diaz I honestly do Krista Ella is a completely different story he's supposed to have been targeting young girls all his life because he's a comedian and people come to see him he was shagging his fans okay it's it's a thing where only the comedians know it's a clique what only comedians are a part of and it's been exposed, people. Let me know what you think down below. <sighs> Give this video a thumbs up. I hope it pushes big numbers because I'm talking about important people that don't want to be spoke about. Hit that bell, share, subscribe for more media and gossip. Peace.